Hey guys, what's going on? So it's time to go over object-oriented programming. And object-oriented programming is the most common form of programming there is. It is literally, as the name suggests, programming through the use of objects. So what is an object? Well, an object is an item you can use that groups together pieces of code, like functions or other variables. So that probably won't make much sense to you right now, but I found that the easiest way to learn about classes was through using them. So let's just jump right in and get started. This video is gonna be an introduction to classes. So as we're using PHP, I'm assuming you've already got a local server set up. I'm also assuming you've got a text editor and a site set up that you can start programming in. I've just set up a little test site right here and I've got this little page that echoes pickles. So I'm gonna get rid of that and we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna create a class right now. So I'm gonna say class and I'm gonna call this class person. Now the best practice is for your classes to contain an uppercase character as the first letter. So you shouldn't create a class with this name, just person like that. We should use an uppercase P. It will work, but it's just best practice to use uppercase letters as the first letter of your class name. So class person. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna create a variable in here. So we're gonna say public name equals Reese. All right. So this is a class, it has a variable called name and the value of it is Reese. So what we need to do in order to use this is create an instance of a class. And an instance just means to create an item using this class itself. So let me show you what that means. So I'm gonna create a variable called person, like that. And I'm gonna say equals new person, like that. And what we've done here is we've just created an instance of this class. Okay, so what it's done, it said person is gonna be a new instance, that's what this new keyword does, creates a new instance of this class, right? So if I show you right now, I can say echo, which if you don't know, prints things out in PHP, person arrow name like this. And if I do that and refresh the page, you'll see it echoes Reese because the name like we did up here is Reese. And I can create another instance below, so I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna paste it below, and it's gonna be another person. We can say uh, person two if you want, okay? And then we'll change this to person two as well, and we're gonna access person two's name. And I'm refresh the page, and you should see Reese again. So we've got two Reese's now. Now, this is just a quick example. Obviously, it wouldn't make sense to have a property called name and then to hard code it to a value. What we'd wanna do is set that itself. So, like I said, you can have variables in a class. We can have functions too. So we can create a function now to set the name. And what we're gonna do is get rid of this value here. So we're not gonna set the name as Reese, okay? What we're gonna do is have a public function set name like this. And I'll explain what this public keyword does in a later video, but just to say, just to summarize real quick, public just means that this function or this variable will be available to code outside of this class. Okay, like I said, more on that later, but for now, let's create a function, public function set name, and it's gonna take a parameter, okay? And a parameter, also known as argument, is just something you'll pass into a function. So we can just say name like this. And in there, we can say this name equals name like this. So wait a minute, we've just seen this new this keyword and that's weird because we don't seem to have anything by the name of this, so what are we doing with it? So what this does, it refers to this instance of the class. Do you remember I said earlier that every time you create a variable with new person like this, you're creating an instance of the class. What we're saying is this instance of the class, this current instance. So for example, if we call this set name function on this person variable we created here, this, in that case, will refer to this instance. Okay, so it won't change this one. If we call it on person two, this, in that case, refers to this variable, this person two, all right? That, like a lot of the things I'm saying, becomes a lot clearer the more you use this. So the more you see it being used, the more it's gonna make sense to you. So if it doesn't make sense to you right away, don't worry about it. So what this function does is it sets the variable we created up here, right? It sets this variable to have the value of whatever we pass into it right here. And just to make it a bit clearer, I can actually rename this to new name like this. And this will be new name like that, okay? This stays the same because this refers to that up here. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna get rid of one of these. I'm gonna get, I'll get rid of person two, okay? So we've still created our person, great. And instead of this, we're gonna say person 
arrow set name and here I'm gonna set it to Mario all right so I've set new name to Mario so this person has the name Mario and you can see that by me doing this person name like that so I'm printing out the name and you'll see it's Mario okay if I copy and paste that code below do the same thing again this is gonna be Luigi okay and then we, when we echo that we're gonna see Luigi as well so Mario and Luigi so we have two person objects with two different names so that's a real quick introduction to classes and how you can have variables in a class and you can also have functions